you are the type who loves to have pets, but don't necessarily uh, want the the uh, types that sleep in your bed with you or get under your feet or the ones that you have to walk. You might consider an aquarium. Now, with that being said, do you want something that's just, uh, you try to set it up yourself and in about maybe two or three weeks you get the green on the inside and you can't see anything? Or do you want something that's really going to uh, be a part of your home's aesthetic and decor and add uh, uh, not only uh, the aesthetic value, but also perhaps uh, something that's a conversation piece and have a bunch of uh, diverse types of pets that, uh, that don't bark, don't bite, don't, uh, don't talk back. We we're talking about uh, aquariums, of course, and we are also talking about SCV Aquarium Setup and Service. Mike Griever, good morning. Good morning. Did I, was that a good, maybe, explanation on how that works? That was pretty good, George, yeah. And I, I'll tell you, I've had aquariums, and the reason that's my own experience of talking about how you think you got it right, you get the filters, you think you're right. going to go get your little home kit, and inside a couple of weeks, what you really have is, is an aquarium that you can't see through because of all the uh, stuff that's growing on it, and maybe or maybe the fish are not alive, we're not sure. So tell me a little bit about what you do, and making, making sure that not only it's going to be a good experience for the fish, but a good experience for the owners. Okay, well, you know, I uh, specialize in saltwater aquariums, although I do freshwater and ponds and... and uh, you know, things of that nature as well. But um, the saltwater aquarium is what I love. I mean, I I had saltwater aquariums when nobody even had saltwater aquariums. Wow. But um, filtration and uh, and just everything has uh, gotten so much better, leaps and bounds over the last 10 years. So you really don't go through that ugly phase so much the first couple of weeks as long as you set everything up just right. You know, you got your chiller and your protein skimmer and you make sure the filtration is just all up to par. And then you run your lights a little bit, a um, little bit less than you would after the tank is completely cycled and whatnot. So oh, there's, a, there's a bit of a process, but uh, for the most part, it does go through a little bit of an ugly phase, but uh, you can keep it looking pretty clean. So from we, the get-go. When we talk about this, are we talking about uh, maybe uh, standalone aquariums, or do you also do installation? And We do absolutely everything. We put them in the wall, you know, room dividers, you name it. Nothing's too big or too small for us. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Now, uh, on that note, okay, we got the aquarium. What do I do about fish? Do you give a selection on that? Or is there a- well, normally after we set the tank up, if it's, uh, if it's a large system where we have to use tap water, um, we usually let it cycle for about a week or two, and then we, we, we test it. Uh, usually after the first week, if everything tests okay, we'll put a cleaning crew in. Hermit crabs, snails, sand sifting starfish, things of that nature, to just kind of keep that brown algae that comes with the tank cycle to a minimum. Um, smaller tanks, like uh, a nano cube, for instance, it's 28 gallons. What I, can, what I normally do is I'll take just the cultured water from one of my systems already and that'll kick start it pretty much right away um, when you do a new system though uh, contrary to popular belief you want to put at least a couple of fish in the very next day when the temperature gets to where it needs to be because that'll help cycle the tank as well um, sometimes the fish don't survive the cycle so we put some cheaper hardier fish in but uh, knock on wood the last Ten or so tank setups we've had, we haven't had any deaths. Oh, so that's perfect. Start yeah. off, start off with the ones that that you know the the kind of the pawns of the fish world. Huh? Is that how right. it goes? Yeah, kind of. Now you were you said you're uh, this is you're a Santa Clarita uh, native, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, had moved around. But what what got you so involved in fish and aquariums? Well, I'd have to I'd have to give that one to my dad. You know, he bought me my first aquarium when I was nine years old, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. Um, Actually, I was, a, I was a mechanic for 25 years, but I've always done the aquarium thing on the side. I've managed fish stores. I've helped set them up. I've plumbed them. You know, everything, anything and everything there is to do with aquariums, I've, I've done it. And um, actually hung up the tools about six years ago and been doing this just on my own for the last six years, and it's been great. That's outstanding. And oh, it's important to understand, too, and we talk about that, and I kind of made a little bit light of, of like the maintenance on that thing, but it's really important, especially for people who have busy schedules, but they want to have, have a, that type of uh, environment to come home to. There's just something about it that's otherworldly. It adds especially a dimension of even uh, of light and depth to the home that, uh, that is in a way that no other type of decoration can have it, and you're also sustaining life. And, and so you can actually also service these as well, correct? Absolutely, yes, uh, 
Uh-huh. Outstanding. So how, uh, what is the best way to get in contact with you uh, for anybody who is thinking, you know what, it's about time to jump into uh, something more than just a little fishbowl? Well, you know, I always have my phone on me, so feel free to give me a text or a call, 805-587-5293. Um, if you want to check out my website, just uh, just Google Santa Clarita Aquarium dot com, and uh, and it should pop up. Uh, and then uh, also you can get get me on Facebook, and I'm also on Craigslist oh, as well. Perfect, outstanding. So you got you got all the all the media covered. So perfect. So keep that in mind for anybody who is looking to to uh, have an aquarium experience and have a professional handle it, at least uh, uh, the setup and also the, the installation is, uh, installation and also uh, service and maintenance, very important to keep those fish uh, alive and nice and colorful. Uh, talk to Mike Griever, SCV Aquariums, uh, SCV, excuse me, Aquarium Setup and Service. So thank you very much. It's been a great talking to you. All right, George, you too. And I've already been looking at the walls in here, uh, thinking where I'm going to put your fish tank. Well, uh, we're moving to downtown Newhall uh, relatively soon, so maybe you might have to eyeball Well, eyeball there's been talk location. that we're going to put a jellyfish tank in that building. So Outstanding. To go yeah. with the jelly man who is our, uh, who's on the show after me, that'd be perfect. He could, <laughs> he could have a pet and a mascot. Outstanding. Nice. All right, well, pleasure talking to you. Good luck and continued success. Thanks, George.